What it do, man? We back in the building, man. I got to first and foremost, man. You know what it is. It's the round table, man. I'm the voice of the culture. Man, it's a little rainy today, but, man, my, me and my man about to brighten the whole setup, man. This brother that I got with me today, man. First of all, it was an alley-oop for another brother, my guy Jeff. Shout out to him. Salute you, King. He just, you know, directed me in the path, and I had also done something with a young lady, Tanya. It's just funny how the world works, man, but... Yo, we here, and yo, this guy that I'm sitting with now, man, I gotta tell him now, King, I salute what you did. Thank First you. of all, your story is remarkable. For those that don't know it, we're gonna get into that. For what you accomplished, from where you came from to where you at is remarkable, bro. A lot of brothers been out here in the whole cypher, in the free cypher, just out here playing around, and you just put yourself in a situation, and you made the best out of it, and you became great out of it. So, yo, welcome to the round table, man, Shannon Holmes, man. Yo, thank you, thank you. The for author, me. first of all, he's an author, director. <laughs> I like what you say. He I has like the this. movie um, on Tubal. Two B. Two B. Be more careful. Yo, classic. You know what I'm saying? I, I watched it as soon as I got her. Saw the link, jumped on it. Mm -hmm. It's on your smart TV. So let's not play like we can't do it. it ain't, yeah. it's, it's nothing. Yeah. It costs you nothing. Now everybody's talking about support. It costs you nothing to go see my man's joint. But you know what? A lot of people don't realize how important support is until you need it. Like, when I was younger and I worked for delivering pizza or whatever, and you know, those tips are important, dog. Because you're not really making no money as a driver. You're not really making no money. Right. Tips are important. So you never, that's why I always say you never know how important support is until you need it. And also giving it back to people. To people, sometimes it comes, it comes back to you. Yeah. When I'm in stores and I'm, I'm, I'm doing little things at the counter, I appreciate you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let the person behind the counter know you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it might have saved them to hear that. Especially those waitresses, man. You really, they really working for pennies on the dollar, man. So I always tip them, unless the service is bad, then I always say, it you work, you're working is. on your tip. Exactly. You're working on your tip exactly. at this point. Exactly. But King, man, let's get into the biography, man, of the, of, of the kid, man. Where, where did it start from, man? Take us back to the essence. Okay, I gotta, you know I gotta, what take, saying? You, I gotta take you way back. Yeah, I mean, you know. Way back, all right. So You're from that era. So for me, like, I got three sisters. Right. Two older sisters, they like uh, 15 months apart, or 13 months, or nine months apart, whatever it is. I think, no matter of fact, I think it's 11 months apart, right? So they used to read these books around the house uh, called uh, uh, Donald Goins, Black Girl Lost, and and, 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 and you know, uh, Ice Bro Slim. Yeah, but really black, really, really Donald Goins, right? Right. So I read both of them, but my favorite was Donald Goins. So I was just wonder, what is that? My sisters, you know, what they got? They got the, the book tucked underneath their arm while they washing dishes. It was like something they couldn't put down, right? So another factor into the to, into my writing career that was that that influenced me. I saw it, I didn't yet read it. I didn't start really reading on my own, so I went to prison. Sad but true. Facts. Only read academically as my teacher exactly, prescribed. Exactly, but we didn't really go grab novels right, we didn't, Let's Whenever, whenever, whenever I was told to go to the library to get a book or get it on my own, I read the thinnest book I could possibly read. Exactly. Thick books intimidated me. I'm telling you no lie. But when I went to prison, they didn't intimidate me anymore. A that's thousand like pages. That's all we had, though. A exactly to keep my mind to keep my mind active and my my mind free. I read. I always felt the same way after after I finished reading the book. I felt like I accomplished something. Right. So I always patted myself on the back because all the idiots, you know, the older dudes called the TV the idiot box, and I right. never want to be labeled the idiot. Right. So that's picked up my reading, but then I started realizing that these books that we that that that, that, that we didn't have that many. African American authors at that time when I first started going to jail in the late 80s. Okay. We had Daniel still. We she wasn't black. We had uh McMillan. We had uh the girl, what's her name? Terry McMillan. Right. Uh we had Men Crying the Dog. What's that guy's name? Uh I can't I think forgot, of his name. They... Michael Basin, because he was on the radio. Right. We had Michael and, and people of that nature, but but they also were not to cut you off. They wasn't really doing anything that appealed to us. No, 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 no. Because no. we was more in the streets. Yeah, but so that so then I picked up these. You know, I went to I did my first bid on Rikers Island, and I sort of I said, damn, I see these books around the house. I finally picked one up, Donald Goins, and I read it, 
and I love them. I mean, I just something I could relate to. I saw characters, my color, Vivid, doing things that I, that, I, that, that, that I didn't have to imagine that I sometimes saw. Right. So I liked those books, and then I just kept consuming them and consuming them. And, you know, and Donald Goins have been dead 20 something, 30 something years. So you go through his whole catalog pretty easily or pretty quickly because right. you like them. Then it was the Iceberg Slim, which I really didn't care. It was more psychedelic uh, on, on drugs type stuff and, and or pimps and whores. And I wasn't really into that. Life, right. But okay. Donald Goins was pretty like hit home for me. Right. So I still wasn't writing yet. I, I still wasn't writing, but <clears throat> it was dudes from around my block. <clears throat> they were great storytellers in their own right, but just verbal. So they would come back. They would go out of town. They would, you know, take these out of town trips to whatever Boston, Baltimore, Washington come back DC. With the, the vivid come back picture. with stories, and they coming back with the story. So we like kids around a campfire, hanging on to their every word. Word, dude was like, y'all knocked the dude out like he jumped out of a window. Then he would get on the ground and, and, and right, go like that. Right. So you're like, damn. So you hearing this and you seeing this and you like, damn. You wanna, you wanna be a part of that. You know, the street stuff started to attract you. Attracted me. But where you coming from, though? Where, 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 what, what location we at? Take I'm coming it. from Northeast Bronx. Okay. I'm coming from the Northeast Bronx, uh, Gun Hill, White Plains, Boston Road, in that area. Two parent home. Two parent home. Okay. Grew up with a mother and father. Uh, all, 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 all me and my brothers and sisters got all got the same mother and father. You know what I'm okay. saying? So father worked transit. Mother, uh, she worked for a factory till she got her city job. You know what I'm saying? My brother was a CEO. My other brother was a. Uh, so we <clears> was in a stable home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in a stable environment. I never had to hustle. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you a lie. I had to hustle. Nah, nah. but you know what? I, I say all that to say this. You know, people always want to paint this vivid picture that I had to I come from the trenches, so I write about the trenches. No. It's just the law of the game. No, I was my own worst enemy. I put myself any predicament. All my wounds in life were self-inflicted. Mm. It wasn't nothing I had to do. But I always say I was where I was supposed to be at that given time, at that moment in time. Right. So maybe I wasn't supposed to be in the street. I chose it. Right. You know, I knew better. Right. But so when I did right, I did, I did wrong on my own. Exactly. I didn't do, I did right because my, my parents taught me better. But, you know, it just, like I said, I said this before, I came of age in a, a epidemic. The crack epidemic. Yeah. And... That was like no other. Like we were seeing dudes go out of town broke and come back. What we thought was rich. Hood rich. Yeah. Right. BMWs and Benzes and that was that was everything to us as kids. We didn't know no better. We didn't know that if we worked the job, we can get the same thing they had over time. Right. We came from a microwave generation. We wanted it right now. We wanted what we saw. And we saw it right now. We <clears throat> saw it in our faces too. We saw it in our face. It was wasn't in black and white. It was clear. Yeah. It wasn't no no magazine or nothing like that. I don't know. I know this dude. I know he's broke, you know what I'm saying? I know he up now. So that kind of, that, that played a role in my life. So uh, <clears throat> my brothers went to the military. That played a role in my life. My, my first brother went to the military, I was eight. He 10 years older than me. My next brother went to the military, I was 12. He's, he's five years older than me. So they, 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 they went to the military to you know, better themselves. or, or You saw a glimpse of that. Life. But I knew, I come from a military family. Your father was in the military too. Okay. I knew I wasn't going to the military because I didn't like my father's orders. So how am I like, how am I like some man in my face yelling at me? I knew I wasn't going. They was like, you going? Oh, nah. I knew, at eight years old, I knew I wasn't knew. going to the military. I knew. I knew. I knew I wasn't going. So, you know, my father said, I remember my father telling me as a kid one time, he said, the military make a man out of you. I said, well, I got to go to the military to be a man. He couldn't answer that. You know what I'm saying? I always come back with something. I always was so thinking. You like, was that one in the I family. wouldn't accept just what you You're said. You're not gonna just tell me anything. I'm going to kind of. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm, throw a jab back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but he's only going off what he know. But nowadays, you gotta know more. Right, and plus that era is different. Yeah, it, that era is different. Like it's, you, it's really structured. You did what your parents bop, said. Bop, yeah. bop, it's, you know, it's it's no curve. It's no right. It's nope. A B C. It's no D, gray areas. Yeah. It's black or white. You doing wrong or you doing good? Which one you doing? Right. There's no gray areas. So I come from those type of parents like you're going to get a job or you're going to get up out of here. They never said you're going to get a career or you're going to get up out of here. Because they only know what they, jobs don't last, careers do. Right, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they only go about what they know. You know, my parents, you know, they, they wasn't, they didn't come up rich. They was dirt poor, coming from South Carolina and Georgia. You know, they came up to New York for a better way of life and they found it. You know what I'm saying? 
So with, with that being said, you know, my, you know, they taught me right. And I had a good, I had a good childhood, good upbringing. But when that stuff started to hit, like I grew up by myself. I feel like, you know, I had my father there, but who going home and get their father? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like right. I wasn't that, wasn't that kid. I didn't have my brothers to go get, so I had to fight for myself. You know what I'm saying? Take take an L or, or take a W, but I took more L's. I took more W's than L's. Right. That's for sure. I gave more. I gave better than I got. So I grew up with a bunch of kids. I I could, I, I could say like, who you go to school with determines what you're gonna do in life, or maybe sometimes who you're gonna be in life. That's a fact. And because these kids so crack, I so crack. If they would have sold dope. I would have sold dope. If they would have went to college. I would have been in college. Because people think peer pressure is real. And when you get to jail, it becomes tear pressure. Mm. You got to do stuff. I hold see on, dudes. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you got to say it again because I, you're right about that. Yeah. So let repeat what you just said Yo, about the peer pressure. Peer pressure is real. But when you get to jail, it becomes tear pressure. I seen dudes do things to other dudes that they didn't want to do because they was they felt that they had to do it. I got you might not even be built for that. Everybody's not built for the other side of the game. And jail is the other side of the game. The big other side. Yeah. A lot of dudes can't a lot of dudes can do a lot of crime and all that, but they can't right. go to jail. That's why that's why the telling is so prevalent right now. Big. When I was growing up as a kid, the worst thing you could be is a rat. That's the worst thing you could be. The rats went down south, never to be seen again. We, what happened to such and such? We don't know. Because he never came back. Though. He never came back. But he might have told him, But they know where he's going to hurt him. If they ever saw his face again, they was gonna, he was going to get hurt because he broke the code. But now it's like, it's, it's money over morals now. The kids say, yo, but he got money, though. But he got money, but he told. It don't he matter. Said, we he said to, the kid said to me, he ain't tell on me, though. I said, how about this? He got he the would. capability to tell on you. He would, though. How about that? So people make passes and exceptions for, for their friends, for people they like. I grew up in a time. Or they idolize. Yeah. I grew up in a time where men were men in the streets. People didn't tell you what to do. They showed you what to do, how to handle situations. It wasn't go out there, give you a gun, go, go make a movie. You know what I'm saying? It was like, if, this, if he violates you, this is what you do. So... How I got involved with drugs, I was playing basketball, so I played ball growing up. And uh, I'm cutting through the hood, cutting through the block. And my man is like, yo, sit next to me, chill. That's how it always He said, yo, I'll buy you anything you want to eat. Bet. Back then and not, I run. Bet. Chicken wings and french fries. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm, that, that was the catch. It's funny. <laughs> it happens in every hood. With the same type of situation. Yo, come sit next to me. Yeah. Is that one? Just chill. Yo, or, or it's y'all go to the store and he always, yo, I got it. Yeah. Like, yo, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it was my man. He's, he's quite popular. You know what I'm saying? He's like the man. He's like, he, this kid was just uh, flamboyant. He was like real, you know. He's always that one. He, that he, he, he had just, the charisma. Yeah, exactly. He had it all. And he everybody the loved to, it. charisma to mingle with the older and the younger cats. Yeah, and everybody loved everybody it. Everybody loved that kid. So... Sit next to my man, and I'm just watching him, you know. Oh, he's just watching the stash and touching nothing. So it's like, it kind of appealed to me. Like, damn, you ain't doing nothing? No, I'm just watching the stash. That's what I do all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he going to sit there. He going to be outside anyway. Right. So Might as well be outside yeah, doing some something. Money. Yeah, making some money. So that was like kind of my first introduction into it. And then before I know it, I was that kid. Watching the shorty, like yo, he was like, dude was like, yo, shorty, just sit right here. Don't you, you don't gotta touch nothing. Just let me know if anybody go to that stash. Oh, bet. And that's all I had to do. But then you can't do dirt and hide your hands. I had to Eventually. go to the stash, give him three. You know what I'm saying? It, it gradually, Bust a it, it, it become yeah, yeah, levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It escalates. It, it escalates. It's never just stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to just see if he can do that first. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it, but they got to know before you say that. They got to know if you you got to get vouched for. This wasn't something that everybody could come in. Yo, I'm glad you point your, touched your, your, on that. Your man, now anybody can do yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure the older dudes ask him, "Yo, what's up with your man?" Like they see me around. They've been the seeing you. Yeah, but they know my family. But you good? You know, I'm sure. Yes, my man. You know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? So He's you get, 30. 
You get coached. Yeah. You, you, you get coached and groomed. You know your man. My man's telling me what to do. Yo, 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 I definitely know got common sense. So I definitely know what what not to do. But in the right. game, is some other things involved more than common sense that you got to know what to, what, right. what not to do. Exactly. So they grew me. It's a, it's a, it was an apprenticeship period. Right. As anything yeah. else. As anything is, truthfully. But now these kids, they buying their way back. They buying their way in the game. Because everybody's accepted. Or, I mean, you know, my man got a saying, you know, excuse my language, to the coach, and niggas be sucking a dollar's dick. Yo, yeah. is anybody who's doing what? Niggas get lawsuit monies, and all of a sudden they got the yeah, whole hood buying work. coke. Yep. How you buying coke? Nigga, that wasn't you. You took the lawsuit money to buy some coke? Yeah, that's exactly how it happens. And then to be the nigga who do that wind up getting 30 years because now they want to, yo, they had a nice little run in the hood. Yo, we can go out of town. Well, let's go out of town. Yeah, you don't that, even really know. Let's go to Vermont. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. And, and these kids, they don't like, they don't, they don't, they don't defer to an older dude. They don't ask like, yo, we thought, well, how does it sound like? Team with the Bobby Furter situation, how did they... Why was they having all them guns? Like they didn't, even, they didn't reference nobody with an old, older dude and say, "Yo, you think that's a good idea?" They said it to a young nigga, like, "Yeah, yeah, that's it." Of course. Bro. So and sometimes a nigga that wasn't say, even sober. Sometimes Let's be we clear. say nigga, things. Well, niggas now don't even be sober. Back yeah. then, cats who gave the orders, they wasn't all wired up, and it was we sit at this table, we talking business. Now yeah. tonight, we do what we do. Sometimes, man, like when you when you verbalize something, you like you see how stupid it really was. The idea really was. Right. When you thinking it to yourself, like that should sound good as a motherfucker. Till you say, ah, a couple times I said, nigga, what the fuck are you thinking about? Nah, I don't do that, bro. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much that's how it happened for me. Like it's just like in rap, you 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 either you can't hold that position. You either going up or you going down. But you're not stationary in rap and music. You cannot stay in that position forever. So the same way as the street. Always. So you always getting in and you, I got into it and looking at other things. And I was actually, I was forced to make my first sale. I didn't want to make my first sale. Dude made me make my first sale. Like, yo, I was like, yo, I don't make sales. Nigga said, you want to do what the fuck I tell you to do. I'm going to smack the shit out you. Those were his exact words to me. He's a big intimidating dude. And you went over there. I had to go bust the sale. Yeah, she right there. So then that fear is gone. See, it's two things that prevent you from doing things. Hell or jail. Facts. Your spiritual belief in the hereafter or, 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 or your fear of jail. And once you go to jail one time, you don't fear that shit no more. You know what the drill is. You know what's going on. Facts. Everybody but I still can, don't want to keep going back, though. I yeah, got to keep that a fact. Yeah, everybody, but like the kid on my block, he got six months. He hanged himself. That was a lifetime to him. That's a skid bit to us. You know what I'm saying? Get I did six that months, in the county. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, but my father once told me, he said, yo, one day in jail is too long for me. It's crazy. Yeah, it's funny. My pops told me that too when they came to visit me. My mother and them came to see me one time when I did my bit. And they said, listen, this is it, son. We'll see you when you get home. But we can't see you like that. It wasn't so much like that. This whole, you know, I come from spiritual family. So like it goes like you just said with the spiritual, they don't want that energy on them. They don't want that in there. It was like, yo, nah. And I respected that because I knew that. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, we too good. It wasn't no bougie shit. It was like, yo, my, my parents were very spiritual. We don't want that energy bringing it back to our home. This yeah. jail shit bringing back to our own reality. You know what yo, I mean? Yo, I was the only one in my immediate family to go to jail. I was the only one to drop out of school. I was the only one to go to prison out of my family. Yeah, so it's like, you know, you be, the, you, you be the black sheep. But my father told me, you go to jail, don't call me. I've heard but that. Funny, but funny thing, I'm doing my first state bid, and guess who comes to see me? I'm thinking it's one of these stinking broads that's promising me they're going to come see me, lying to me in the letters. It's my father. I'm like, I didn't know how to take it. I just stood there like, because he always told me, like, he said, Shannon, there's only three things ready for you. Jail, the army, or the graveyard. What's it gonna be? You, you, you young, you invincible. You like, you ain't never gonna die until you start seeing death around you. Right. My pops told me the same thing. You ain't gotta listen to me, but you gonna listen to somebody. Yeah. And you got when that I got right. in that correctional facility, and then I went in that hole, and all whatever. I had, I listened yeah. faithfully. Let me be clear, faithfully. Yeah, if you if you if you if you can't be controlled, they will send you a place where they can control you. Exactly. And they will medicate you up where you be. I seen dudes that side of the game, dudes, medicated, big, big, young, out of control. 
Did them up with the thaws in. Done. Can't even Cooked. remember his name no more. Walking, walking around in circles. Walking around the yard picking up cigarette butts. And then come home, they the same thing. Getting a check. Now. Yeah, it's, it's over. It's, you don't it's know nasty. who he is no more. But the outcome was different for you though, King. Yeah, I mean, the outcome was different for me because, I mean, I did several bits though. So I'm not gonna act like I got it, I got it right the first time, bro. That's why I always say, it doesn't matter when you find yourself, it's that you find yourself. Some mm -hmm. people go through their whole life and never find themselves, who they are or what they want to be or what their passion, what they love to do. They can't stand their job, they can't, they dread Monday and can't wait for Friday. You know what I'm saying? So those are the type of things. And I'm not gonna say that even growing up as a kid, like what you wanna be? I used to lie all the time. I didn't know what the hell I wanted to be. I used to lie. Cause I had to, everybody else was saying something. They want to be a doctor or whatever they right. were saying. I felt but in like reality, after, in your yeah, heart, you didn't, I, I didn't have know. a clue. I had, I had no clue. So I always say when it came to that, I didn't choose this. It chose me. It came to me at the most loneliest time of my life. I met a kid in prison, and, and he just changed. He changed the course of my life. So let me talk about something for a minute. You doing? You did? You did a, a few bids. You had your stint, your runs, your in and out. Basically, you was in, you was getting money. That was the whole purpose. Yeah, yeah, of doing yeah, it. yeah. Like, thought I for, was. The right. things, the things I thought, the things I put value on really wasn't, didn't, wasn't didn't hold any value in the big scheme of things. But you couldn't tell us that back then. Of course, because we caught up in the hype and the glitz and the glamour, and then it's the backstory. Yeah. At now, you say you did a few bids, but what was the bid that changed? Which the last one? The last one was, was the, the backbreaker. The backbreaker. So. I, I, I came to my senses. Uh, my childhood peers was in their childbearing years, getting mortgages, starting families, doing the getting shit, getting car notes, living life. And I was in jail, doing push-ups, hollering, "You set!" and lifting weights. I'm like, "Yo, this is just more. This can't be life. It's got to be more to life than that." And around that time, I met that kid. He wrote three books, and I was just talking to this kid, and I was like. Where was he from? He's from the Bronx. Okay. He was out of town. They got a backstory with that too. But I was talking to him and I was, his name was Devon. God bless the dead. He died in prison. So I was talking to him. I said, if he wrote three books, I said, I could at least write one. And so this is, my, this is what I'm saying to myself. To my, to myself. But was you still reading though back then? You I, were still, I, I, was a long, I always read. I consumed okay. books at okay. an insatiable okay. pace. Bro, okay. thousand, thousand page books, they were nothing. Okay. You know, I always said there's four things nothing like. It's four things nothing like good food. It's nothing like when, when these things are done properly, I, I'm not going to rank them how to, in order that they go, but it's just four things that I figured out. Nothing like good sex. It's nothing like good food. It's nothing like good sleep. It's nothing like a good book. Mm. And depending where you are in your life, that's where you're going to rank those things at. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, get, I get some good food, you get, you get happy, you start right, dancing, right, right. Huh, huh. You, get, you get some good sleep, I feel like I take on the world and win. Give me some good sleep. Like, you what's up? You get some good sex, you dancing around, yeah, you, you happy, around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know. Everything's a goal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your girl know that, so that's why she go, let me get that. And then she cooks. Okay. And then she cooks. <laughs> so, so it all kind of coincided with one. So that, that was my list. So. I met the kid, and he's telling me, he's telling me, yo, you know, he wrote, he wasn't cocky with it, nothing like that, but I was a long time reader, first time writer. You ever hear somebody calling on a, on a, on a, on a, on a radio show and say that? I'm a long time listener, first time caller. That means they've been listening to the show forever, but now they just got to build up the heart to call in wow. and voice their opinion. Wow. So that was me. I was a long time reader. So I said to him, I never read his books because I didn't want to be the second him, I wanted to be the first me. It was just a lot of little things, but I would just talk to him about writing. Pick his brain. Yeah, just talk to him, because until you know how to do what you, what that thing that you want to do, whether it's editing and, and, or, or, or writing, you got to, they always said, like old folks used to always say, it's nothing, anything you want to know is in between the pages of a book. And I was like, and I truly believe that. So the next day, I went to the prison library, got a book about writing. I wanted to know about this thing called this this, this literature this literature this literary thing. I wanted to right. know what it consists of. I wanted to know the rules before I break them. You gotta know the rules. I wonder why I'm breaking them. So that was my thing. I went to the I went and got a book about writing a book, and I knew I was smart enough to understand. I didn't speak the king's English. I was smart enough to understand who I was writing to. Mm. 
You understand? My audience. I didn't want to go over. I had you a knew your audience. Yeah. I had a cellmate. This dude was eloquent. His penmanship, his his what he said out of his mouth, everything was him was eloquent. He could write chicks and get money sent in. He just had game. But every three words he wrote, we had to go to the dictionary. I said, I don't want to be him. Jesus he, came. Jesus came to the people as the people. He he was on that time. Yeah, he was he, he was. He wanted the big. It was the big words. But you know so that boom. was that jail shit. So I said to myself, Nah, I'm gonna write to my people. I'm not. They not gonna have to. I'm gonna give my yeah, culture uh, that vision. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it to them how I get it raw. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm, I'm gonna give you the game. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what they didn't tell me. Mm. Nigga told me I can get rich. He never told me I can get killed. How about that? And more mm. people I know got killed than got rich. Yeah, hey, facts. And a nigga tell you get rich in a heartbeat. Yep. So I said, I'm going to give you the game before you get game. And then, so when I, when I wrote Be More Careful, Be More Careful was a spinoff of uh, Donald Goins book. It's a Donald Goins book I love. It was called Black Girl Lost. Mm -hmm. Classic. Yo, I love that book, right? How many I said, times you read it? Man, at least about five. So I said to myself, I said, I'm going to write a 1995 Black Girl Laws, my vision of it. Because everything is just, we can see an accident, the same, same time, same place, but you see something different. So that's what I say, what makes me, what, what makes me is how I say and what I say. And you, you the same way. When I, when I found my voice, which is the thing I hear when I write, I found it in the jail cell. And I would hear this shit like, and I would say, damn, was I feeling myself or, you know what I'm saying? And you really don't know. How do, how do like, people get the star surge and don't have talent? I'm going to tell you how. Their parents, their loved ones. Boo Boo can sing, but Boo Boo can't sing amongst singers. He can hold a note in the shower. He can't hold a note on stage. Yeah, he can't hold a note at church because he's praising I, God. I, exactly. Can... So, But it's from, the support. From a prison standpoint, steel sharp and steel. Exactly. So when they told me I had it, I knew I had it. Because they would love nothing more than to turn me, tear me down. Exactly. Especially this nigga writing this bullshit. Yo, bro. <laughs> I got a story about that, right? So early in the game, when I started writing, I, I made a mistake and told, you can't share your dream, but you got to guard you gotta your You got to guard your thoughts. Yeah. So I shared, made a mistake and shared my dreams. And... He was in the prison yard. Dude was like, you writing a book, huh? Yo, yeah. We gonna sign it over that garbage can and we gonna throw it in this one. I was crushed. He crushed me. That was the plan for him though, to do that. He crushed me. Yeah, he was laughing, you know what I'm saying? There was a couple of them out there, everybody, you know, we all, we, we all, I said, damn, you know, I'm a soul man, I wanted to fight because my thing was this. But I'd have been in my feelings, and, and as they say in jail, we don't we don't we don't we don't, we don't deal with we, we don't deal with emotions. We, we deal here. with men. We don't deal we with don't feelings. Right. Take them feelings and throw them over the fence and let the guard shoot at them. We right. don't deal with them. I'm dealing with men. So you know they pride you on that, but how can you not feel? Because we human. Exactly. So, but I had to, I couldn't let that show. It should crush me. Oh, so I said so. So I said, damn, I'm gonna show you. But I, my whole thing was, who are you to tell me what I'm gonna be? You sitting right next to me. But that's our people, and, and that's the it's environment. The, yeah, that's the environment. The, I mean, that's you know what I'm saying? Culture. So I just locked in. I could have let it. I, it could, my, my dream could have literally. Dream. Dreams are dreams are very fragile things. They could have ended right then and there. Ground. Had I let it, I was like, I internalized it. But you're not a weak. Let's be clear. You're not a weak individual. Yeah. But you're not strong every day, though. Exactly. So that might have been the day when you were <laughs> strong, been, yeah. and that was just the extra to put on but top of that. This shit just made me so mad. I internalized it and said, "I'm gonna show so you, you locked I'm, in." I'm gonna show you locked in. Came out with a book. And the same niggas that told me that I wasn't gonna do it, they was begging me for a shout out in my book. It wasn't me, man. I swear to God, it wasn't me, yo. That wasn't me. That was such. A... I was looking at this dude like, yo, you was the main one. You was the whole. You was the the captain. But 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 I, I let him live. I he still gave him a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Because without that environment. Man, I don't know what I, what, I, what I would be because I had time to slow down and analyze. It's a, it's a, it's a, pill, it's, it's a period of, of self analyzation that goes on in prison. And you think about your faults, your plans, your hopes, and your dreams. Now, the book's written in prison. How do you know or where do you come up or does somebody put you in the direction to get to a publisher, a publicist? Like, how does that whole... Nah. 
Or uh, you w- now let me ask you this. You was home when the book came out or you was in the building? I was home when it came out, but I was in jail when I got that signed thing. to a contract. Okay, so, so how did that come about? How do I reach out to a publisher? Well, as a kid, I always read album covers. A lot of us did that. We come from that era. Cause so we reading the album covers, I'm gonna know. Such oh, such name. oh, Michael Jackson didn't write that song. Oh, snap, Huff Gamble, and you know, you like, damn. And, and then in the same album cover, it would be the address to Columbia Records. Yeah, that's why I catch you to come and walk there, get on the train, and do what they had to I do. I applied that. I applied that same knowledge. hustle to the book game. Inside of a book, it's the address yes. of the book. So what you gonna tell me? No, your answer is already no. If I don't ask, so I got 20 free emeralds a month. I'm writing. Who you writing though? I'm writing the publishers I found in the books. So you writing, you just anybody. So anybody you just going to the library and you just going picking up a book. Anybody that got a book and they sell, whoever, sister. So you soldier. didn't really have a certain person you was aiming at. Okay. Around that certain time I did. I start to see this woman. Her name is Terry Woods. Shout out to Terry Woods. Uh I started to see that because like you know you get the sauce, you get the yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get double XL. So we, we, we do all the rap books. So and so somebody had a Fed magazine. Shout out to Antoine. Uh, the Fed magazine. My man had the, my man for Canals. He had the Fed magazine. So I said, yo, I read it. I said, yo, let me get that book back. He, I ain't tell him why I wanted it. He brought it back out to the yard. I wrote the ad. She had a PO. Terry Woods. I took an advertisement out and and had a yeah. PO box. So I wrote to her. Oh, but I didn't write like, oh, girl, I love you. Nah, just, you wrote on some business. But you know that get misconstrued in jail. Dudes are trying to come up on something. They're trying to run some game. But I said, Joe, I always said to myself, man, I did that in the, I did that in the drug game. Fucked around with chicks I wasn't supposed to fuck around and, and ruined the business. I said, I'm not doing that. You know, not just saying that it could have happened or it did happen. But it just could have been Romantic taken. Inc- inclinations, but I said, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a get my money right here. We're going to fuck over. You fuck over there. I fuck over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, wrote, up, wrote like I got some sense. I uh, wrote her synopsis of my book, what my book was about, and wrote her cover letter. You know what I'm saying? So, that interests her. I didn't send her the book yet. To my surprise, a couple of days later, I get, I get, I get an envelope underneath my underneath. Terry Woods, oh shit, send, send, your, send your book with a self-addressed envelope to this, to this joint. I said, self-addressed envelope. I said, this, is not, this, is, this book is going one way from me to you. I knew it was going one way. I knew I had something because the jails told me. The same dudes that hated on me congratulated me. Right. You, they, I knew I had it. I knew it. Because these dudes don't lie. They, they love nothing more yeah, than to tell me the yeah, pieces. Yeah, they're not going to even, yeah. they're not, they not putting you on their shoulder. If you don't got it, they'll you tell you that. that. If you, if got, you got, it, got it, they'll gladly tell you that too. Like, yo, you push that out? Yeah, what yo. we doing? Yeah. So I'm coming through the child hall, and I'm seeing people just whispering. And you know, like, yo, that's that kid with that book. I got copies floating around in jail and stuff like that. And, and dudes is, like, really respecting it. Like, respecting my pen. And the dudes is like, yo, I don't got to. He said, one kid came up to me and said, this is probably one of the, one of the best things somebody ever said to me, he said, yo, if I had a hat on, I would take my hat off to you. That was a good book. I said, wow. But I put my all, this is my moment, and I was smart enough to understand this is my moment. I was smart enough, I, I, I didn't have no kids at the time. So I was like, damn, this is how it's going to end for me? So if this is how it's going to end for me, I'm pouring all of me into this book mm-hmm. right now. Okay. And, and I'm going to put my foot on the sands of time. People are going to know that Shannon Holmes lived, breathed, and had thoughts if it's over today. I did that. My name going to live on. My books, they're going to come out to a different generation. They're going to put a new cover on them and pack them out to a different generation. Just like I got them, just like my daughters get them and stuff like that. So... These companies, they play for, they play long ball. They don't play short game. They play the long game. When you ashes and ashes and dust to dust, they'll still be selling your material. Yeah, fact. Trust and, trust and believe. So that's, that's pretty much how that happened. And, you know, I was able to uh, come up on that. And I always tell Terry, I say, yo, you didn't discover me. I discovered you. You didn't know I existed. I knew you existed. You didn't reach out to me. I reached out to you. And you couldn't, you couldn't let it so, be crazy. She couldn't let it pass her by. The most, it was a good book. The most important thing, man, was like her taking a chance on a kid from jail, man. A jail dude, man. She took that chance, a financial chance on me. Yeah. That's not lost on me. But we also won big. Mm. We won big. We generated 1.5 million. Not my first year out of jail. 
Mm. One point, you, you go from being a statistic to 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 to, 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 to asset. Yeah, that's crazy. Like you know, I had people come up here. You know what you worth right now? I'm like, what? They're like three hundred thousand. I'm like, what? I was just worth nothing last year. It was crazy like that. So it got it got real crazy for me. It got it got crazy for me. That whole you know. It's, How it's, was that feeling though? Like let's let's really be. Oh, I'm, I'm on, and I say the feeling is. You done did all these bids. Yeah. In and out. Two threes and did two threes and a five. That's eleven. You done did eleven. Ben, you didn't did eleven. This is the last of the hustlers. Your child, your first child is born. My first baby. Yeah. Your first yeah. child is born. You hit the streets a year later. You got Terry Woods, one of the elite. We are not yeah. talking about one, yo, one of one of the forefathers of that genre. Right. Of the modern genre. Right. But that feeling as a brother coming from the Bronx, going through all that you went through, to that point, if you had one word, what would that one word be, brother? Like, what would that word be? Man, that feeling is just something you can't describe. Like, you know, because I remember when I didn't want to be me. Mm, that's deep. I remember... When I had all these warrants and all this shit over my head, like my last bit, all that shit fell on me. I had, I, 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 you ever heard that Mob D song? Sometimes I wish I had three different faces. I'm yeah. going to court for three. three different. That was me going to three different states. I was in PA, New Jersey, going out in PA, New Jersey, and, uh, uh, and Maryland, going out on Ritz. The parole man was like, yo, you just a one man crime wave. A, one, one man East Coast crime wave. I'm like, damn, I'm trying to laugh it off, but like, he was right. You know, all that shit just fell on me, and that's what kind of made me like, even when I was on the street and I wanted to stop, I said, these motherfuckers ain't gonna stop looking for me. So sometimes when you caught up in that game, you gotta keep going to, to, live, to continue your lifestyle. Right. You, they don't stop looking for you, and you can't stop, you, you gotta still eat too. Facts. So you play the game knowing that anytime that car get behind you, it's like, is this the day? Is this the day I'm gonna go in? This is the day I'm getting locked up. It's this is the day is over. This is the way they're taking me from my family or my girl. Is this the day? You always got that in the back of your mind, ready to hit the gas or run. So now we on the bricks. We home. The book's floating. We diddy bopping through the city. The city looking <laughs> it good. It didn't. So it didn't. It didn't go from zero to sixty real quick. It didn't. I mean, go, I'm sure, but I'm just saying as yo, I'm. I'm a, I'm a person that looks at the big picture. When I see Diddy Bobby, you was running. First of all, you home. Yeah. The book's out. It's not. It, it didn't come out right out when I came home. Oh, okay. So I came home August. It came home. It came out like February. So I remember having going downtown to get a copy of my book and having and taking that train around it and just that feeling alone was crazy to have. That was my baby before I had baby. So like to know I put my all into this. You ready to go get the stroller? I, I'm like, God, I'm on the, I can't even read emotional. it. Emotional. Yeah, I'm, yeah, very, very emotional. Let's, let's cut all the bullshit. Yeah, you know yeah what I'm mean? definitely like, yo, this is, this, is, this is monumental to me. Hell yeah. And who knew what it was going to do? I had a feeling. Because when I, because something, like I said, it's not sometimes not who you know, what you know is timing. My timing couldn't have been better. Sister Soldier had had her run. Terry Woods had had a run. Somebody had to fill that yeah, void. Yeah, it was, uh, I was that guy. You, I and, was that and guy. You and the story, and your backdrop yeah. story makes people even want, yo, he did it in jail, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that was even before I just came home when the internet came out. When I came home, dial-up was just starting. Oh, okay. So this, it's, no one, it's, it's 2000. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So dial-up is just starting. So now they don't even know if Shannon Holmes is a woman or a man. They think I'm a woman. Yeah. I'm getting letters to my fan Fan page like, yo, that's fucked up what you did to that boy Black and blah, blah, blah. You gonna you never get your... put your face on the... They didn't put my... That was a company decision. They didn't put my face on it. How, how do you feel about it? You think, you think that worked in your favor a little bit? No, nah, I don't think people... Um, it, it can because if fans hold out the hope of getting with you, they're gonna buy your book. Like, I remember when Virgil Fox got married to whoever. I was like, she married? I don't like her no more. Like, I was gonna get, get with her. That's right. the mentality some people hold. To a greater or lesser degree. And even some people can't separate Shannon Holmes, the author, from, from Shannon Holmes, the person. Right. 
they think you all all one and, and everything you write about. So the irony in all that was the things I went wrote about, I was getting paid for now. And I was like, damn. That wasn't lost on me. I was like, damn, I was, you know, breaking the law. But you had the, your backdrop story was able for you to write all of that for people to accept that because you was a part of that. Yeah. But you know, I wasn't the most popular. I was not the forefront of nothing I did. I, I mean, the, you don't have to be. But some dudes that try to take that. For, oh, yo, he was. I was. I had twenty he wasn't breaks. Really like that. Right, right, right. Yo, but you. This is. But this is. This is. This is their way. So you know, they they want to do what you're doing, but they can't. So they thought that Terry Woods wrote my book. I was like, she ain't write my book. She ain't write my book. Now let me let me ask you something. The book. What when you was in in the building. Did you ever think about doing a movie, though? I think that's a natural progression. That's like a child. I mean, I got to ask, action. though, because some people don't. I'm not saying you. Yeah. But some people just is a one track. It ain't. Yo, we going to do this. And, you know, I mean, like everybody's not a visionary champ. Yeah, you're right. You got to be honest. Everybody's right. not. You they right. just feel like, OK, I did that. And they cool with that. Some people have that drive. Now I want more. I'm hungry. But but but. I was a pioneer, and in a sense, man, I saw things that wasn't there. When them, That's what when I'm them saying. Dudes, you was when a visionary. When them, when them dudes laughed at me, nah, I saw opportunity when they saw nothing. That's the vision. It was dudes in jail that could write circles around me. They were that talented, but they weren't focused. They weren't disciplined enough. I disciplined myself. You know what I'm saying? To lock in myself and write that book. A lot of dudes couldn't do that. They wanted to be in the yard chatting with their homeboy. It's called, you know, also is believing in yourself. Some people are scared to believe in themselves. And they're scared to fail. A lot of people are scared to fail because they don't get laughed at. Yeah, but I mean, like, you what at the bottom of the fail? barrel. That's what I'm saying. Up. It's not nothing not, from here. Right. It's up. Because I said that. I said that when I was in when I was in lockup and I was in the hole. I said this is the second thing that being in the casket. Yeah. Be doing twenty. I did twenty four in a day. You know, in the hole for a while. And I, that to me was like, yo, this is the second thing from laying in a casket. Yeah. But you get to find yourself in, the, in, the, in, the, in those places, man. Like, so for me, I learned to love myself. Like, really, like, yo, I like being by myself. That shit don't bother me. Some people need people around them. I don't need that. I don't need to be the life of the party. I don't need that. I'm good by myself because I entertain myself. And you know what? <laughs> Sometimes I hear that now, but people fail to realize. I think that, that part of me, me doing that time, when I did that little, I ain't, you know what I mean, that little shit in the hole, that was when I realized, yo, I can chill. I don't have to, I don't need, I'm not, a, I don't need people. Yeah. And I don't say don't need. I, you know what I mean? I don't have to be around everybody. Yeah. I'm cool with coming home, sitting on the couch, watching my it, sports, putting thing. my ticket. Yeah, it'd be a little Because thing. that shit that happened 20 years ago, it wasn't traumatizing, but it woke me up. Yeah. Thank God I had a family that was sending me, you know, books and, you know, things of that nature. So I wasn't in a room where my head was spinning. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. you have those moments where, nigga, you're in there laughing, you're in there talking, the walls. Just because you <laughs> to you striving to maintain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not because yeah, yeah. you're crazy. You timing. So I'm doing time. This is how I'm doing time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So I did time with the funniest dudes I could find, though. I, I, I like laughing. And I remember a guy telling me, yo, you, you uh, really... You happy to be here, huh? I said, no, I ain't happy to be here. I just know there's worse places I could be. Right. So yeah. let's get back to the movie situation. Yeah, so, I mean, it was a natural progression. You thought so. about it. So and while you was in there, you said, I'm going to turn this I thing. I didn't say I was going to be. That's not. I'm, you want to be successful, first and foremost. So anybody who right. said, I'm going to turn this into a movie, they're lying. Because the, if you're not successful, there is no movie. Nobody makes uh, movies about unsuccessful books. I'm right. sorry. Or no good books. I'm sorry. So I had to be successful first. And then as I got out and, you know, Terry caught a deal from cash money that never panned out. And that's always around you. But my always my worst fear was this, man, seeing my movie and not eating off of it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's sharks in the water out there. So let's talk about that process for those that don't know. You was you you wrote you now you wrote the movie. Yeah, I wrote it myself. You wrote it. Nobody can yeah. ghost write. No, nobody. Nobody, okay. nobody helped me do nothing. Nobody helped me write. I had to lock in for about a week. So now understanding a script is different from a book. That, a book, I have infinite amount of pages. A script, I do not have infinite amount of pages. I never felt time is money more than on a movie set. Because literally, the guys, the cameramen, the lighting crew, they all got paid. 
And they don't care if you do one scene or a thousand within the hourly, you know, within the eight or ten hours that you got with them. Right. They still got paid. And ain't no stop, yo, ho, can we come back? Nah, that shit rolling. So from, from that aspect, it's like, it's pressure. Right. From everybody to perform. Everybody in the, in the, you know, on the production side. Now, did you have a team with you that selected out your actors? Uh, was you personally involved with picking? I was personally involved okay. with it. And, and, and if I could say something, uh, a lot of people don't get it. Their moment. In my moment, I knew it was my moment. A lot of people didn't didn't get this was their moment. And I want to work with the best and the brightest. And, and, and I found I found some people in that cast and that crew that I'm taking with me. I found some people that if I see them again, it's too soon. And that's just life, man. You know, that's just life. People I don't understand, it. understand, you know, what they're doing. You know, you get all these calls now and be like, yo, can I be in your movie? Why are you going to be in my movie just because you asked me? I always, you know, I always wanted to be an actor, but yo, bro, why you ain't pursue that? Because I was pursuing writing long before I met Terry Woods or right. heard of Sister Soldier. Right. So why you can't do that? But with the with the inception of of these uh uh uh, uh, uh these web series, everybody's an actor. So that's the good and the bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's some people in there that can act, but not everybody can act. Some people just want to see themselves on TV. Some people, yeah. On the screen. Oh, look it, at me! Ha, ha, ha. I did that. They're not, they're, not, they're not serious about their craft. It's like, just like when I was in jail with some dudes, they, they could write circles around me, but did they? When it was all said and done, they didn't. I figured it out. So you directed the movie? Yeah. That was, that was something yeah, too. Direct, like, what's, the, what's the word, huh? Directorial? Debut. Debut. Yeah, so that's another thing, man, just like telling people what you want out of that scene. You just give them a little guidance, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you want, ideally you want people who embody the character, not just memorize lines. Right, right. So, that, like I said, that process, you learn so much, and I'm, I'm continuing learning things, little things, but they adding up. Okay, do this. So maybe I can't apply them this time, but I will apply them next time. That's just like knowledge. Knowledge is information until you apply it. Then right. it becomes yeah, knowledge. Yeah, fact. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just to gather the information. If you don't use it, what is it? Yeah, what we doing? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, last time this happened, and you and you just know. So yeah, I was I was I was I was participated in selecting some of the people. Uh, my my partner selected some of the people. Now, well, did Terry Woods have anything to no, do no, with no, the no, movie? No, no, no. Okay. Terry Woods didn't have anything to do with it. By this time, I had ownership of the, be more careful. Okay. So for 20 years, I had 100 percent of nothing. You know what I'm saying? So now I got 51 percent of something. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give up something. Like, people will try to be, there's no way around it, bro. You got to break bread. You got to give up something to get something. Right. So I waited all this time. Man, I, I had dealt with bad deals. I had dealt with not getting no money. Like, I had dealt with dudes trying to backdoor it after. I said, you know, let my lawyer, let your lawyer, let my lawyer hash it out. Why are you still calling me for? He had no good intentions. Yeah, and he, I know he didn't it. want to do business. Yeah, yeah no, nah, he wanted he, he wanted to jerk me. Right, it was it was the rape of you records. Yeah, 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 yeah. So people, you know, and, and that's what I say, man. You you gotta be, you yo these dudes, man. It's not like the streets where the streets are checking the balances. You do this and they that that happens to you. That don't happen in business. They do it to everybody. They rape him, you, you, it's, you. It's, it's a domino yeah. effect. They don't care. You sign the wrong deal, that's your, that's your, that's your behind. They paper gangsters, that's what I call them. Which they, everybody says it. They, they can take your life with the swipe of a pen, have you tied up in all kinds of mess, all kinds of red tape that you can't get nothing out. So you Look, just got to be careful, man. Now, you said you waited 20 years. Yeah. To, for, um. For a movie. For a movie deal. No, not for a movie deal, to, to actually do, do the movie. Okay, you worked, you worked, you waited, excuse me. Yeah. 20, 20 years. And that 20 years... Was it ever a moment you said, nah, it's not gonna happen? Yo, you always so, I had this meeting at, at, at Trump, Trump Towers. And it sounded good, dude booing me, you know what I'm saying, telling me what I hear, hear. He, think, he think he's telling me what I wanna hear, but uh, he's not actually not. He's kind of reminding me of those dudes from my block. Just had game. I'm just looking at him, like he think I'm like, but I'm really like, I'm really? Side -eyed, yeah, you yeah, re really? Fuck like, yo. 
He, I said, yo, well, that's all you could give me? He's like, oh, I got to pay this person and pay. I said, yo, let me ask you something. You think the motherfuckers give a fuck what you got to pay me? I said, so why should I care what you got to pay them? That's on you and them. I want what I want. So he didn't see fit enough to, to increase his offer, so I left. But when I left, you think that, yo, this might not ever happen. But you have to know your worth and you have to stand, stand tall when you hard as hit, bro. And when people dangling that money in front of your face, you got to have some kind of, yo, what's my value? Just because you don't know my worth doesn't diminish my worth. Facts. At all. So I still know my worth and I am still want what I want when I want it. And you waited. Yeah. Patiently. But it's not never to say, like you said, sure, bro, I thought that was it. I thought that might not never be it. How many times I, you went through that? Probably that one time. That was the one time that that was something serious. And then I watched him go on and do something else that was serious. But <clears throat> ain't like, damn, maybe I. You're not giving me, but you're not giving me the. But then it came out that one right, one right. So I said, y'all dodged a bullet in hindsight. So. Now let me ask you this. Why'd you do the location? The location was Baltimore. I could not, I don't think. Because the, of the name? Yeah, and it was set in Baltimore. I could not, I don't think those people would, would forgive me, man. You know, Baltimore gave me everything tangible I've ever had in my life. So how could I do that to them, man? How could I take that and put that? I know people do that, but I wasn't willing to do that, bro. But then cats would say you're not a Baltimore cat. I'm, I'm not, but I was out there. You can't say I wasn't out there. You can't say I wasn't in them jails. A lot of people say a lot of things about me or... But I'm just saying, you know, that comes yeah. with the negativity, the hate, but the yo, hype. It, it was so real that they thought I was from out there. <laughs> Go figure. You know what? It's funny you say that. Because I'm going to keep it a buck. I thought that's where you was coming from today. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so real. It, you're right, it's real. Yeah, Cause I'm like, yo, he in Baltimore. I, yeah, nah, I, I take that. You know what I'm saying? I take that. I, I, I'll wave that flag for him. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you have to, and I have to respect that that you kept the essence. But I gotta, I got, I gotta ask. And it's not about, it's not, is, is this question I'm asking is this? What made you settle for what you settled for? Was it what you wanted? Or was it close? The deal? Yeah. What was the it deal be? was exactly what you wanted or was it close enough? Because sometimes we do, eh, you now, know what I mean? I, I, I'm going to tell you, ownership. I okay. got ownership, dogs. All the way around the board. Wow. So, like, them dudes that's doing their turn their books, they, not, they don't have ownership. I had a partnership, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have, they didn't just pay me no money and told me to go in the corner. I helped put that production together from top to bottom. So even if all else fails, guess what I got? A million dollars worth of game. I got dollars because these people will make it seem like your dream is so far that you can't do it without them. But your dream is closer than you think. If you keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Real shit, too. That's real. Your dream is, man. These dudes, man, they, they'll be like, oh, you can't do it. Oh, we did it. We ain't do it perfectly, but we did it. We, you know, you still got people who don't understand, like, the conversion from a novel, from a book to a movie. Oh, man, you, you took this shit from a prison cell to a television. Yeah. Like, let's just be clear on that. Like, that shit's not no, that's not no little shit, bro. Yo, and, you know, funny, Jeff, me and Jeff had this conversation yesterday. Like, yo, what you, he said, your story's ill. What you did, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's that's award-winning. That's what I'm trying to say. But here's what I don't get credit for. This is the biggest thing I always don't get credit for. I feel like I gave hope to the hopeless. Of course. I let dudes know that you can make it from jail. Of course. It was, it was no Shannon Holmes before me. I was the first. The first that ever do it. You know, but when I came out of jail, I was getting sized up like I was back in jail. Oh, I got 20 books, I got six books, and I'm like, what that mean? What that mean to me? Facts. I, I'm that boy. I'm that guy. I'm the poster child. But that's the, that's the p problem. You're the poster child, and they probably never have been with 20 books. Yeah. So I said, what that mean? Or, or, or you, you're going to have furniture in your house if you can't move those books, or you're going to have tables and boxes of tables. You can't eat books. Play a exactly. So, you know, it, 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 was that, it was that mentality, man. And we come from, like, 
when I came fresh out of jail, I was thrust into a position. I earned it though, but I came from this environment where you offend me, we fight. That's jail. That's the streets for you. What? What you trying to do? So I'm coming in with that attitude. Right. They're trying to rob me, right? Oh, Shannon, there's no more big money. You'll never get a big deal. Any... I got the deal. I went right back to that door. What, what you were saying last week? I got it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you'd be like, yo, suppose I would have listened to this dude and signed that contract with him. I'd have been effed. So we dudes are telling you. We wouldn't even be sitting here. Yeah, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. And I always say this too. Suppose be more careful wasn't my first book. I, would, I be, would I be received as I am now? Because it's a couple books. We people, never know. It's a couple books of mine that people think better than be more careful. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was writing my second book, I, was, I started writing it as I, as, I, as, I, as I was writing Be More Careful. It, the story came to me. I stopped being more careful and started writing Bad Girls. It just came. It just took on a life of its own. Then I resumed it. I, and I went home and I was able to get a deal with that one chapter. Off a thought. Now bad bad girls is in motion. Bad girls. So I want bad girls to be a series, so I want that to be a series. I wanna but uh, understanding production and all that type of stuff, right. you know, understanding uh uh a budget. How's your fam how did your family receive all this? Sometimes you your know pops, because I know you know tough guys. Yeah, yeah my father's a, a a very strong man. I remember one time, man, I think my father, you know, I know he happy for me, you know what I'm saying? He happy for me, you know, succeeded because I succeeded. Nothing succeeds like success, bro. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when people think you finished, they want the best, but they think you finished, they, they don't know how this thing going to shake out for you, even though you got this, you right. know what I'm saying? And he's always, if I were you, you know what I mean? I remember I'll go to my mother and my father one part of an advance. Like, damn, that's some fucking heady shit. Mm. You like, damn. So my father, you know, he, he, was, he, was, he was always happy for me. But, like, you know, I can remember my father calling me, you know, and I moved, made a mistake of moving down the block. And I'm writing my second book. I didn't plan this to be a career. Right. This just happened. So I'm writing my second book. And my father gives me a call. I'm looking at this. This is called ID first came. I look at the phone like, damn. I'm writing. I'm gonna say, damn, that's your father. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Yo, yo, what's up? What you what's good? What's going on? What's good? Hey, you got a stamp down there? I was like, what? A stamp? Because I said, where's the mail going till Monday? It's Saturday night. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So a lot of people who I said that to say this. A lot of people who don't understand the creative mind, man, they don't understand that. You could break a train of thought. That's what I'm saying. This is like not a car call, park. Right. You're calling me about a stamp, and I'm in, the, I'm I'm in, in the, my zone. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm in my, I'm in my element. you in that and, zone? And, that, and you breaking me out of that over this stamp. But pops. nobody understands that from me. Sometimes it'd be your woman, your significant other. Your kids. Your kids. And whatever. Anything. They don't the right understand that this is how, like, how daddy's eating. Now, you cut that phone off. You got to be disciplined enough to cut that phone off. So that eliminates that. Nobody don't got the house number but family, you know what I'm saying? Right. So if you want me to come to the club, that's over. I'll talk to you about that tomorrow when exactly. I didn't go to the club. When I'm in that mode. Yeah, when you're in that mode, because that's your job, bro. I can't come to your job and, and disturb you, so why am I going to let you come to my job and disturb me? If you had the opportunity that I had, you would do the same thing. Right. You would take advantage of it. To do what you love, who don't have that opportunity? A lot of people don't get that opportunity. So if you got it, you, be, you, you, better, you better seize it. You better take advantage of it all the way. So let me ask you this, bro. You know, how did you get on the, the Tubi? How did, how did all that come about? Tubi? Tubi. How did the Tubi thing come about? Oh, that's just distribution, man. We didn't even go with distributor. We went with a film aggregator. So they Can give you... you explain, you, yeah, explain. An aggregator is different from a distributor. Know. You probably pay an aggregator to do the job that a distributor wants in percentage. You want to keep as many people out of the, out of the pot as, as possible. possible. Out of that back end as possible. So with us, everybody got paid. And I'm happy to say that. Everybody got paid that was in that movie. We paid our way through that. You know, I didn't even take no money so that this could fly. Okay. So Tubi's just a platform. Tubi's well, a Tubi big... just kind of hit the stream. So yeah, yeah, Tubi's all over. Though Tubi's probably it's, got more. more no, it's popping now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying to go that avenue, you know what I mean? 
to be able at the way, you know what I'm saying, everything's on the internet, everything's on television, yeah. you know what I mean? You could have went another route. Yeah, we went, we, so we on 18 different streaming services. We on Roku, Tubi, Apple, Amazon Promise, not just Tubi, but you know, okay. knowing what I know, I probably would not spread myself so thin again. But how does that work though for you? You know what you I mean? You get paid quarterly on Tubi. Okay. You get, Is it based on how many people watch it? How many, how long people watch it, yeah. Yeah, okay. how long people watch it, because it's commercial based. People think TV isn't, TV's free because of the advertisement that's run. It's the same thing with Tubi. Tubi is free because of the ads they run over top of, the, over top of your favorite movies. Right. So people think that, oh, uh, you know, that they got to go support you at a certain streaming service. That's not necessarily true. Tubi, just because you think it's free, they think it, the person, the, 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 the writer's not getting it, or the director's not getting it, or the production, that's not true. Okay. Tubi takes half of the advertising dollars, and they give you half of the advertising dollars. Okay. So that's how that works. So, you know, like, Tubi's a platform, like, Apple is the most stringent platform. Once I got on Apple, everything else fell in place. Because mm -hmm. Apple doesn't want... They they don't want your movie to be messed up to the point it looks makes their products look bad like it freezes on the on the iPhone. They don't want that because it look it reflects bad. You might think it's your phone, but it's actually my movie. Right. So a lot of people don't get on Apple. A lot of people don't get on a lot of those places, but a lot of people are satisfied with Tubi too, though. Yeah, I I gotta say, man, you know, talking to you, I, I've been watching you since me and you connected the thoughts. I watched you did a lot of, you know, you stay busy. You know what I mean? One thing I can say about you, brother, that I got from every time I saw you, saw your Instagram, saw you do your thing, you always stayed in pocket and you always spoke from your heart. Yeah, that's why a lot of people say, I can remember this one time, this fan, she said to me, she, she said, this is before like internet was really popping. She said, I knew it was you because your story don't change. The truth don't never change. Lies do. That's what I'm trying to say because, you know, sometimes you on this platform, and I ain't saying you, but we, we see people on that platform, this platform. Yeah, Yo, you done said five different things on every different platform. <laughs> yeah. Hold up, what's going on? No, Yo, my no. man, you kept it, and I know, and I know it was passionate because yeah. I watched him. And I sat back and I was like, yo, my man is so, it's from the heart, it's love, it's gratification. Yeah. He knows who he is and yeah. he ain't selling himself. But, <laughs> what's next? Oh, we gonna keep going with the movie things and we gonna go grab, we gonna go grab books that we know is good. There's, there's other books that slip through the cracks, but only that I know or other people in that genre know what's good and what's bad. I see you posted, you looking for some some, some. No, that's from my homegirls book. That's from oh, my okay. homegirls, uh, Young Love. So yeah, I did post that. You know, I try to help my people out as much as I can, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I put on, like, my, my tree is, my tree is lengthy, bro. Like, they, the people I put on, like, I never wanted to be the one to say, yo, I made this much money. I wanted to say I put, I, I put, I put yeah, such and such on. You never once talked about none of that in your interview. You never glorified the dollar. Nah. You never. I put people on, bro. People that's up now that didn't have it, I had chips first. Like, can't nobody, and I said this the other day to my homegirl, I said, can't nobody, ain't nobody in, in publishing got nothing on me but Terry Woods. And because she, cause she, she signed my checks, I never signed hers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So she was my mentor, you know what I'm saying? But. Y'all still, how's that relationship now? Ah, man, okay. it's better now. Okay. It, was, it wasn't so good. It uh, has, you know, I'm it, quite it, sure it, in the it, industry, it's like, moments, it's times. Yeah, because ego. Okay. Ego, like, you know, you start a couple of dollars, you start, she feeling, she is who she is. I'm becoming who I'm becoming. She's Shaq. I'm Kobe. I'm coming up. And I want to know, can I lead the league in scoring too? But I can never lead the league in scoring as long as Shaq's there. So it be it, it, it got it, it got egotistical, it just got hot. It got, and it's sad to say, it always without people like you know other people, other, other ethnicities can do business with people they don't like, not us. Right. We don't like each other. We got to get away. We can't do the business ain't the business no more. You know what I'm saying? And and that's sad but true. But shout out to her. Yeah, shout out to Terry Woods. I mean, I wouldn't be here. We wouldn't even be having this conversation let's, without let's, us. Let's be clear. Shout out to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, so we, we had our anybody differences. Anybody thinking that, you know, we yeah. don't want to be That's not what we We had doing. our differences, but, you know, we, you know, like, yo, I got to think about this, and I always got to think about this. 
Where would I be without her? See, that's but, always staying humble but, and true. But where would she be without me? Exactly. She got to ask herself that. Yeah, because there's two sides to a coin. There's, you gotta there's ask heads in his tail. There's no heads on one coin. It's I can remember sides. somebody disrespecting me, telling me, yo, I see what Terry was talking about. I said, what? Only me, Terry, and God know what happened in that office. That had smoke coming out my ears. I'm looking at you now. Yo, I said some things I shouldn't have said, but I wanted to take it there. I, and I thought I was being slick because they go that jail shit. Came and out that of nigga me. shit came out of you. Came out of me. And, and I respect and, the fact and, that you being my honest partner about said, it. My partner pulled me up. My, my partner, she was like, yo, you think you did something slick? You ain't do nothing. They can, help, they can hurt us without distribution now. She was fucking right. But I didn't care. At, in that moment, I didn't care. In that moment. In that moment. Because I always try to care, bro. That's the, that's the bare minimum thing you can do. Everything starts with caring. Because if you care, you won't do certain things. If you care about me, you won't talk to me a certain way. Right. Just All you got to do is care. I will take somebody who, who cares over somebody with talent. I need that. Because they're going to do, they do something a certain way. They're going right. to do things a certain way. Nigga with, with the love. talent. Like, I'm this, I'm that. Without me and my level. Yeah, or arrogant, man. Let me say that right. with an arrogant person. Yeah, yeah, a arrogant, yeah. A talent, arrogant person. I'll take a, a caring, no talent person because we can we We, 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 we can we, grow. We, we can groom that. We can grow. Yeah. And I can groom you. Yeah. And I might even still learn something from you. Yeah. So let me let me play a game with you that I always play with my guests. <laughs> um, it's a word game. I say one word, just tell me what comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Be more careful. Bestseller. My baby. Okay. Prison. Learning experience. Okay. Family. Everything. I love my family. Terry Woods. My mentor. And my last question, Shannon Holmes. Yo, it's funny that you asked that question. Because I was asked that question, you, you have to describe yourself without saying your ethnicity, without saying what you believe in, without saying, you know what I'm saying? You got you to you go around it. So who? Shannon Holmes? I don't know. That's my, that might be a two-word thing. You fit. Good, good dude. <laughs> I put on for a lot of people, man. I, I, I put on. I, like my tree, like I said, my tree is extensive. And that's not to know. I gave direction. I, I've showed contracts to people. When I passed through those doors and they was behind me, huh, look at that. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I can say, man. You know, I always tried to think about what if I wasn't me and to help other people out behind me. Yo, <laughs> honestly, with you helping another individual is why we're here. God works in mysterious ways, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate what you're doing for the culture. I respect you. You know what I mean? Yo, I'm a phone call away. Please keep me posted. Go see it. Be more careful. On Tubi, Amazon, On Tubi, Amazon Prime. Everything. Yo, I watched it. Like, when I saw it, when you posted it, it yeah. told me what, yo. Pew! Went yeah. straight there and locked in. Yeah. My right. man, I can't even front on that. Thanks for having me, bro. But Thanks I can't front me. on you for that. Like, yo, I was telling my partner, I said, yo, my man, my man did a movie. I was telling my barber last night, I said, yo, my man did a movie, bro. That's on television. Yeah. Coming from a prison. And sometimes we be so hard on ourselves, we don't even see that. Like, we don't stop and smell those roses. Like, damn, it could have been better, it could have been this, but I did it. Yo. And the people who, who criticizing it ain't do it. They can't. It won't even come next to it, man. Yo, you know who it is, man. I'm the voice of the culture, man. I got my guy here, man. It, it's self-explanatory. It's, you know, lock in, tune in, go get the book, go see the movie. It, it's free, so it costs you absolutely nothing. Yo, tell them where they can find the movie at. I mean, not the movie, the book. They can find the book on Amazon. Okay. Amazon, you know Amazon got everything. Uh, they can find the movie on Tubi. Uh, it's a non-playing platform. Apple, or Apple TV, Google, Google Play, those are paying platforms, and Prime are playing platforms, so... You know, if you want to, you want to, you support either way you do it, bro. Right, so it's not. Right, yeah. yeah, like, you know, anything, well, I ain't going to say anything, man. What can you tell the culture out there, man, before we get out of here? The up and comings, 
those that got their back against the wall but got something in their heart is screaming and let it out those that don't know what route to go those that need that extra push those that have a dream but don't even know where to start at what would you tell those individuals or those that's even still in the building and sometimes get frustrated what man. would you tell them man from a brother that yeah yeah with your challenges your obstacles the loopholes to be sitting on the mm-hmm. couch with me like yo what would you tell because everybody's story is different but everybody yo, has a everybody's a star in their own right uh, i think anything is possible but nothing is certain mm. i can remember reading this thing uh, in prison uh, 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 some type of saying and it said uh you don't have to always be in the lead in life as long as you got the courage to come from behind wow. i never forgot that I never forgot that. Say that again, man. You don't got to be in the lead in life as long as you got the courage to come from behind. Wow. So, you know, it ain't over until they put the dirt on you, man. So you just got to keep fighting. too late. You got to chase your dream, man. We well, 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 got to chase your dream with all your being. You can't just halfway chase your dream. You got to be able to look at yourself in the face in the mirror and say, yo, what did I do today to move me closer to my goal? Yeah, but a lot of people scared. You know, we live in a time where, you know, yo. people scared to fail. Up, you know, I don't want nobody laughing at me. I'm like, people, my thing is, I don't care. Uh, people don't want to fail, man. But how many times did Jordan fail before he hit them game winning shots? It's a lot of failure in that. It's just that's a, that's how life is. It's it's failure involved. I'm not scared to fail, bro. Just let me fail on my own terms. Mm. I don't want to fail on nobody else's terms. I don't want you because I can't learn from it. I can't. I can't. What, what can I learn from mistake that you made? Right. Not to fuck with you. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? So you got to fail on your own terms. You know what I'm saying? I failed my first movie. That wasn't my first go at a movie. I failed the first time. People don't know that, but we you failed. You heard it here first. But we got it right. In the same basic, you know, my cameraman, Rich, you know, I took him with me because I spotted passion in him that I had in me. So you got to surround yourself with a, with a good crew, man. You could do a lot by yourself, but you could do even more with somebody else. Just got to have the right people around you. you got to put them in place. Yo, you heard it first, man. Sharon Holmes, author, director, writer, streets, ah. opportunity, blessings, never giving up. Here first, round table. Appreciate you, King. Thanks again. Thank you. You Thanks know what it is, me. the voice of the culture. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out of here.